All right. All right, let's get it. You got Everton next. Um, FA Cup round five. Um, yeah, that's gonna be my lineup. All right, let's go. Let's see what Everton's lining up here. They got Dendruma, um, Actur Conclu. They got Turkey. Oh dang. I like I like Turkey. I heard he's a quality player. Um, they got Jack Harrison as well. Um, Toro, Ghana, Wagner at left back. James Tarkowski, um, Godfrey as well, who joined um at Atlanta. Um, Ashley Young, former Manchester United fullback. And then they got Jordan Pickford in goal. So there we go. That's main. That's Everton's starting eleven. And here's our starting eleven: Ariel in goal, Emerson, Zuma, Igard, Sofal, the back four. And we got two wingers. We're sticking with the same wingers, just like in the Europa League um primary round against Lazio, Somerville, and Jared Bowen. They're both they were both quality in the Europa League. They both played well. Honestly, good performance from Somerville and good performance from Bowen. Honestly, um, hopefully that after that performance from Bowen, hopefully I'll get his confidence up. Um, so yeah, we got our two holding midfielders here: James Will Prowse and Thomas Suchet, and then the front two of Danny Ings and Mohamed Kudus, both playing up top. So let's go ahead and sim the match and see how we do here. If I need to jump in, then I can jump in. All right, so here we go. It's underway. West Ham against Everton. We are live at Goodison Park, I think. This game, this match is at because what Everton's at Goodison Park still. Um, so here's Everton moving forward. Good defending by Gerd. Here's my Gerd. Gets it to James Will Prowse. Will Prowse too, and he gets the ball away. And shot. Good save, Ariola. Ariola been making huge saves recently. He especially made a few good saves in the Europa League on primary round against Lazio. And that's going to be a free kick. Here's James Will Prowse. And it's saved by Pickford. Corner for West Ham. Here's Jared Bowen with the cross. Kudus. Ah. Oh, corner again for West Ham. Here's Jared Bowen. And it's cleared away. Kudus. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Please don't tell me Somerville's injury serious. Bowen. Kudis. I mean, I mean, Somerville suffered a light injury, so it shouldn't be like a broken toe, right? If it's a light injury, like, it should not be bad, right? I hope it's not bad. Crow! Over the bar. We're Prowse. Crossing. Somerville. Bowen. Zuma. Suchek. Good save by Pickford again. Here's where Prowse with the corner. We're Prowse. Clears it away. Somerville. I couldn't get the shot off. Here comes Everton now with um Godfrey. Jerky's parent. All right, here's Somerville. Gives it to Emerson. Emerson puts a cross in. Mommy Kudus, one at West Ham. <laughs> Mohamed Kudus gives West Ham the lead. The Guyna star boy himself delivers. Well, it stands off a good start here, but anyways, everything got a free kick. Um, a chance for Everton, and it's a goal, one-one. Dan Druma, Laziel. Laziel, man. I hope Somerville injury is not too serious. Oh, good, he's shaking it off. Good, good. That means he's fine. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, my goodness, man. That that was an injury scare for Somerville there. We can't afford to lose Somerville because cause he's our left winger that we need. If we lose Somerville to injury, that means I have to play Pagetal there again. And I don't want him to play him. I don't want to play Pagetal out of position. Here's Kudus. Danny Ings. Kudus! Oh, saved by Pickford. All right, we're Prowse with the corner. James will Prowse. It's cleared away. Somerville, we're Prowse, puts a cross in, and it's up, oh, Bowen, Ings, Suchak, 2-1 West Ham, Thomas Suchak, and West Ham are back in front, 
Here in the FA Cup. Here's Everton. They're trying to look for a response. Here's Thondruma on the ball. Gives it to Jack Harrison. Jack Harrison running down the right-hand side. And James Will Prowse has it. Here's Somerville. Back to Will Prowse. Gives it to Ings. Kudus. Somerville. Can he make it free? Ah, oh, and it's saved by Pickford. Um, now here's Turkey now. Fans making noise now. Here's Turkey. Um, uh, Thandruma. Straight to Ariola. We need to make some subs as well. We need to make some subs. I need this. I need. I need to rest these players, dude. I need to rest them. Um, who else needs some rest? Somerville needs to rest too. Cornet coming on. Um, Bowen needs to rest too, but we don't have a white winger at the moment. Um, so we could um. Sub so is off. Sub so is off. All right. Um. Take some foul off too. Gotta rest these players, man. Um. That's pretty much it. I'll stick with that. Here's um. Oh, shoot. Here comes Shaq Harrison for Everton. And he's offside. Oh, thank God for that. James Will Prowse. Maxwell Cornet. Emerson. Zuma. Ings. Suchek. Antonio. Try to give it to Ings. And Cornet with a shot and a straight up Pickford. Here's Everton again with the ball. Two minutes of added time. Can West Ham hang on? Everton. There it is. There's the full-time whistle, and West Ham United is going to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup after a 2-1 win against Everton. Let's go, man. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Come on. Massive win for West Ham in that one. And then we got to play Everton again in the Premier League, obviously. We need to win this match, man. This match is important. We got to win, man. We got to win. Um, like we have to. Um, so Everton next up. All right. So let's, all right. So let's take a look, um, so far in the Europe, um, competition so far. So currently in the Champions League, um, they just got done playing the first leg. And Barcelona and AC Milan are right now tied 1-1 one -one in aggregate. And Real Madrid lead Man Manchester United 3-0 in aggregate. It's not a surprise, honestly. If Real Madrid does play Man United in real life, I think Real Madrid will win because they're the best club in, in Europe. They're the best club in Europe. Um, Dorman Benfica tied 0-0 in aggregate. No goals so far. Um, Inter Milan, Arsenal. Inter Milan lead 2-1 in aggregate. Um, Sevilla. And Bonanoid um, are tied 1 1 in aggregate. And Manchester City um, lead Napoli 3 1 in aggregate. Um, Bayern Munich um, lead Shakhtar 2 1 in aggregate. And then Atletico Madrid lead Leipzig 2 1 in aggregate. So there you go. That's so far in the Champions League. Europa League here. Let's take a look at the Europa League. Um. So Glatusserai go through as they knocked out um, Panathin 4-1 um, in aggregate. My goodness. There we are. Look, Lazio, West Ham. What a match, man. That, was, that second leg was crazy. I think this second leg of this um, Europa League primary round on this West Ham career mode is probably... One of the best matches I have played on FC24. That's that's definitely going in my top matches right there. Like that's definitely going number one. Um, and PSG knocked out um, Utwitz um five two, and Braga knocked out Marseille three one. 
Dang. Real Batiste um, knocked out um, PSV 4-2. Um, Midland knocked out Young Boys 4-2. Oh, I wish we had them, man. I wish we had them. But that, oh yeah, that's right. You can't, you can't. Ah, oh, that's right. You can't play against a team in the primary round because if you go through in the primary round, you you got you have to play against another European team that finished top of the group. Um, Porto. Um, beat um Atalanta for free to knock out Atalanta, and Ralph Sardad, um beat um L S L A S K. I can't say their name. They knocked out um Lask um six free on aggregate. So the round of sixteen draw, we got FC Midjoint versus Freiburg. We got PSG versus. Dandy Reynas FC. We got my club, West Ham United, versus Bayer Leverkusen in the round of 16. This is a rematch from the um, Europa League quarterfinals, by the way, where Bayer Leverkusen ended up knocking out West Ham, where they were on this like unbeaten run. And they finished the Bundesliga season unbeaten. And they couldn't win the Europa League. So, it's, they still had a really good season last year. They had, they had a really good season. We'll see, we'll see if they beat it. We'll see if they play this. We'll see if they become the same this season. Um, Clatessa Rye. And then the other draw we got is Clatessa Rye versus Roma FC. Roma. Yeah, there we go. Let's take a look at the other draw here. We got Porto versus Rangers. Raul Sertadad versus Sporting, Braga versus Ajax, and then we got Real Batiste versus Liverpool. But we got to remember though, Liverpool is still in the Europa League as well, by the way. And I swear to God, if Liverpool gets knocked out by Real Batiste, I'll be shocked. I will be shocked if Liverpool gets knocked out by Real Batiste. I swear. There's no way they're losing to Real Batiste. With the squad of players they have. Like, there's no way. Like, literally, there's no way. Like, that would be pretty crazy if, the, if it does happen. And then the Europa Conference League. Um, Braga knocked out Sulasul FC. I can't say that name. They knocked him out on um, 3-1 aggregate. Then Hakin knocked out um, Sakrip. Um, again, sorry for my pronunciation. Sorry for my pronunciation, because my pronunciation of these clubs just absolutely suck. Like, it's terrible. Um, Hyken knocked out um, Sakri on 3-2 in aggregate. Um, Salavia um, knocked out um, Gil Vicente, 4-1 in aggregate. And then Florentina, oh shoot! I think Florentina were down 2-1 against IEK Athens in the first leg of the Conference League. And then in the second leg, they came back and beat them by two goals to none to knock IEK Athens out of the Conference League. So Flor well done, Florentina. They knocked them out and beat Athens 3-2. And um, Fraga... Ah, easy draw for Praga. They knocked them out. They knocked Winsu out eight two in aggregate, and then Fariol knocked out um P A O K Pio Pa OK Pa OK. So yeah, Fariol knocked out Pa OK on the final aggregate score of five to two, and then Racco knocked out um Nordstraw two goals to None on aggregate. And then Valencia, the team who was the club who was in our group, um, dropped down to the conference league. They knocked out Akmar. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Valencia are big underdogs. They knocked out Akmar three to two on aggregate, which is pretty insane. Um, so the round of sixteen draw, what we got? We got Racco versus Frankfurt. Sparta Praga versus Boscatis. Um BK Hacken versus um foreign K 
VR Rosai TC. So bad at pronouncing name, these clubs' names, man. Um, FC Valencia take on Austin Villa. I swear, if FC Valencia knock out Austin Villa, I'm going to be shocked. It's going to be the same thing like Liverpool versus Real Betis. If Real Betis knocks out Liverpool, I'll be shocked. If FC Valencia knocks out Austin Villa, I'll be shocked. Because Austin Villa are top side. Oops, my bad. I accidentally pressed that one. All right. But yeah, I'll be shocked if FC Valencia knocked out Austin Villa. Um, let's take a look at the other side. We got Salo Praga versus Bernabachi. We got Club Praga versus Ghent. K-A-A Ghent. Ghent. And then we got Florentina versus Victoria Paulsen. And then we got Varial versus Leo. So there we go. Um, that's the round 16 draws in the Europa League and the Conference League. So there we go. There we have it. Well, I'm looking forward to this um, Leverkusen match with West Ham and that's going to be a massive match again.